The dinner to mark a century of Prime Ministers living at Chequers is unlikely to be the cheerful celebration the mansion's trustees were hoping for. Four of the living premiers, Cameron, Brown, Blair and Major, have turned down their invitations. That leaves just Boris Johnson and Theresa May to glower at each other. The last time the two met there was for the Chequers Cabinet Summit on the EU negotiations. Johnson, who was Foreign Secretary, resigned shortly afterwards, along with David Davis, ultimately helping to bring about Mrs May's downfall from office. Whatever the tensions between them, all Prime Ministers have come to love the country house that goes with the job. What they call this House of Peace was first given to the nation after World War I by Lord Lees, one of Lloyd George's ministers and his rich American wife, explicitly for the rest and recreation of her prime ministers. For years, Chequers was used for just that, relaxation with its tennis court, rolling grounds and swimming pool, and for private entertainment of cronies and political allies. The keen artist Winston Churchill is said to have taken his brushes to improve the depiction of a mouse on an oil painting by Rubens hanging on the wood panelled walls. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher usually spent Christmas there and liked to use visits to what she called Chequers Church for impromptu sound bites. <laughs> Early in the job, a bruised and over-made-up Tony Blair had to get special permission from the trustees to use it for work. A TV interview after Labour accepted a million-pound donation from Formula One. Since then, an invitation to Chequers has become the biggest honour the Prime Minister can bestow on visiting foreign leaders. Blair held his final meeting with outgoing President Clinton there. Angela Merkel liked the Buckinghamshire countryside so much, she asked for a repeat visit. President Xi was so taken by the beer in the nearby Plough pub that he joked about buying it. John Major often tells how he turned up with Boris Yeltsin before opening time and the landlord refused to believe the Russian president was banging on the door. Theresa May did her best to preserve decorum when she entertained the unpredictable Donald Trump in the house and garden. The taxpayer contributes £916,000 a year towards the upkeep of checkers, but the Prime Minister has to pay for food, drink and entertainment themselves. Some of them, including Boris Johnson, have complained about the cost of playing the host. Still, most Prime Ministers and their wives consider checkers to be one of the best perks of the job. John Major's wife, Norma, even wrote a book about it. Her husband isn't going, but Dame Norma will be at the centenary dinner tonight, perhaps trying to keep the peace between Boris Johnson and Mrs May. <laughs>